The liberal mainstream media has been in hyperdrive ever since Donald Trump was elected as president. These liberal moon bats have been doing everything they can to discredit Trump's presidency. As we all know these liberal twits have been pushing ridiculous fake news stories all over the media. Every day for the past few months, Huffington Post, The New York Times, and the drive of media outlets have been running hit pieces against President Trump. These hit pieces are designed to cause more division in the country and distract the American people from the real villains in the government. It is obvious that the establishment and liberals across the country are in full panic mode by the way they have been acting. They all are aware that if Trump really begins to drain the swamp they will all be out of a job. So, Instead of them shaping up and doing what is right for the American people they rather cause more division and strife by peddling fake news stories. This weekend, President Trump traveled to Saudi Arabia in an effort to open a line of communication up with King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Trump and King Al Saud were able to reach an agreement that some say will weaken terrorist groups in the area. However, instead of the mainstream media reporting on the possible good that came from this meeting, they went into full tabloid mode. You see President Trump was being given an award and since he is 6 foot 2 inches he had to bend over to receive the medallion. Right before he fully stands up he seems to hesitate a bit before fully straightening his body out. I have watched the video several times and every time I watch it I do not think Trump bowed at all. However, the left-wing media does not see it that way and has jumped on this as another way to slam the president. Of course, Far-left director Michael Moore seized this opportunity to mock President Trump by calling bending over a curtsy. But, that is not all. CNN also wrote about the moment and did their best to compare Trump to Barack Obama's controversial bow to the Saudi king. Here is an excerpt from our favorite purveyor of fake news, CNN. During the first stop on his inaugural trip abroad, President Donald Trump, like presidents before him, was honored with Saudi Arabia's highest civilian honor the order of Abdulaziz El Saud. But no sooner had the six-foot-two-inch president leaned in so that the much shorter Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud could place the medal around his neck than the politically tinged questions started flying, was it about a curtsy? Some awkward combination thereof. Whatever the answer, it was, perhaps, the one muted note of social media discord in an otherwise controversy-free first day of travel. That's in part because in 2012, after flirting with the idea of running for president, Trump sharply criticized President Barack Obama for bowing to then-Saudi King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz when he got his award a few years earlier. Obama's press secretary, Robert Gibbs, denied at the time of the visit that that 6-1 Obama had bowed, saying the president bent over, to shake with both hands. But Trump questioned that on Twitter during the 2012 campaign, do we still want a president who bows to the Saudis, he asked. If you do not remember that moment let me refresh your memory on Obama's s kissing bow. Back in 2009, Barack Obama visited Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah, during which Obama appeared to bow to the king while shaking his hand. After watching both these videos it is clear to me Trump did not bow at all to the Saudi king. However, it is obvious that Obama did bow which showed tremendous weakness by the president of the untied states. It is obvious that the left is grasping out straws by peddling this non-story in order to create more division among the American people. They know that President Trump is a strong leader and is not one to mess around with. They will continue to do whatever they can to discredit President Trump which means we need to push harder to make sure the truth is out there. Share this story so that people can see that President Trump did not bow, but Barack Hussein Obama clearly did. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.